legitimate. The people were pissed. And they got together and they spoke up, and it was legitimate. And every news station across this country received an order to back off promoting that, whether negative or positive. They completely backed out of promoting that. That's when I knew, absolutely knew, proof beyond a reasonable doubt that what we were doing was real. But the governors ignored us. The governors had opportunity to do what the people requested, and they ignored us. That gave us the lawful right to now convene and start our own system of governance because we were dishonored. Right. So the people got together and formed what's called dual assemblies on a national basis. All 50 states got together and formed dual assemblies, and they voted for their Congress, their Senate, their House. They voted for a governor. They voted for their uh, justices. They voted for all forms of government within each state republic. And those state republics got together in November of 2010 in um, a little place in Utah, hundreds of people were gathered, and we formed what's called the operational documents, the Declaration of Sovereign Intent, and we reconvened the Congress that was vacated in 1861. We sat back down in those seats lawfully. <laughs> We've met with the FBI. We've met with the Secret Service. We have these guys predominantly on our side. They understand what we are doing is by the law. I just want to interrupt you just for a second, because everybody out there is probably saying, oh, my God, what is this guy talking about? Why hasn't this been on my news? <laughs> That's what me and Michael have been telling you guys. We don't have a real news. If we had real no. news, this should have been on every paper, every TV screen in the country, and it wasn't on any of them. And as far as I'm, I'm aware, this information really hasn't been out there. Has, how many, has it been on very many radio stations out there even yet? No, uh, you guys really, I don't know what your viewing audience is, but you guys are probably the first um, uh, larger viewing audience that we've had um, to be able to hear this. We've been on some television, some news networks, some small ones local, I've been on constantly, some Internet. Uh, radios, uh, some local radio stations all around. Well, um, I tell you what, we're going to put together a bigger show in the future. Like you said, when we've got some more news, and yeah, you know, we'll we'll get the we're we're going to get the noise out about this. I can promise you. Yeah, we'll definitely we'll attract the the ones who are already awake and need more, and we'll even uh, take the blindfold off the sheeple. And I can guarantee you, there'll be plenty of them. Uh, sitting and listening and not being able to believe what they're hearing as well. And uh, uh, this is just incredible uh, stuff. I mean, like I've been telling the American people that they've had their liberties and their freedoms pulled out from under their feet, and they're so distracted by all the fake news and everything else that they throw at them to distract them, they have no idea it's happening. And before we go on, also give them the website where they can go read all about this information and start signing up to, to get out of this nightmare, this, this tyranny, this, this de facto piece of garbage government that we've got right now that doesn't care anything about us. Tell them where they get really more information. Tell me how you really feel, Glenn. <laughs> um, the, the website is republicforthenitedstates.org. Uh, we were moving that site today to uh, larger servers. Um, they could also, if that website is not up, they can go to republicofthenitedstates.org. Um, our goal, first of all, we have thousands and thousands and thousands of people across this country already signed up, already a part of the republic, already out there advertising. We also have tons and tons of de facto operatives trying to flush this by doing negative internet blogs, by uh, spouting lies, by saying negative things about uh, our president, about everybody, and that's what they do best. Is, is Here's what they, they realize. People like top top secret, by the way. <laughs> well, yeah, first of all, it, here's some big news. Number one, in the 1800s, or 18, 19, 1911, when the Federal Reserve 
basically at Jekyll Island got together and started talking and they developed the Federal Reserve Board and the Federal Reserve uh, uh, basically book. I forget what it's called offhand. Um, the Federal Reserve was never ratified by the governors. And so basically it's not a valid entity whatsoever. And also the Federal Reserve is not private, as you guys know. It's not public. Um, it's not a federal anything. It's a private entity. That's right. Owned, owned by foreign banks predominantly. So foreign banks are, are, have the right to print money and charge interest for it. And basically, instead of us using our gold, our silver, our, our commodities to print certificates that people could use, we are using a debt instrument, and that debt instrument has got us into a lot of trouble. And, and right now, we're paying more in interest to the Federal Reserve than we are bringing in in taxes. Yep. That's why it's the Federal Reserve note. It's a, it's a debt. Yeah, that's right. It's criminal. Gentlemen, it's criminal because the people, here's what people don't know. We had an opportunity to take back the Federal Reserve as a government for $5 billion. <laughs> we could have done that a long time ago. Instead, we pay that in interest every day. Oh, yeah. And we've, and, and, you know, that's only five days of these ridiculous wars that we're in, too, because <laughs> we're spending over a billion, a billion a day on these bogus wars. So five days, we could have totally been out of debt. That's right. Um, so why we don't make those decisions? Well, it's pretty obvious. It's because they're in a lot of deep pockets. They're in a lot of... Um, they do things that... Because they're above the law. You know, and they'll even tell you they're above the law. They don't They don't ever receive an audit. Right. Um, oh, yeah, but a little guy it. like me does. And all, and all you people out there that think Romney's going to save you, I've got him on tape saying he doesn't want to audit the Federal Reserve. This guy is nothing but a banker piece of trash. Dude, Romney is a social, he's a social, uh, he's got the same social agenda Obama does, and if sure. you don't believe that, go look at what he did in Massachusetts. I know Mitt Romney. I've been around Mitt Romney. I ran against Mitt Romney. I know all the details about him. It's unfortunate, but he's He's nothing more than a one world order guy, just like everybody else. Yeah. Like, besides Ron Paul, you know, there's nobody else even in the running, is there? That's not a banker puppet. Um, it doesn't matter to me because yeah. the corporation is done. Yeah. And if you want to get into this topic, I will be more than happy to. But I stand here in confidence, and I don't care what kind of stick they hold. When you do things above the law, and when you do things, and you believe what you believe. I believe that this this government that we've re-inhabited stands on the truth and is supported by the world and by the world leaders. The people in the world are sick of being stepped on, raided, taken over. The corporation has gone into over 200 countries, given them social securities, and now bills them through the IMF. <laughs> the IRS is owned by the IMF. International Monetary Fund. The International Monetary Fund is owned by the U.S. Corporation. People don't know that. The IRS bills out in over 270 countries. Jesus, I didn't know that. Okay? We're, it's, it's way bigger than you think. Those people have been basically bribed to major lengths, major extent. If you don't do what they say, they're, uh, what they tell you to do, they're going to come in your country, take it over and do what they did to Saddam, do what they did in Afghanistan, do what they did. In Egypt, do what they did in Saudi Arabia, do what they're doing in you know every single one of these oil-rich countries. Why aren't they going into Africa and saving these poor two million people that are dying to their their leaders? Exactly, because there's care. nothing for them to gain on by doing it. There's no oil or lithium there. Yeah. So they go into an oil-rich country. What is their god? Guns, oil, and drugs. That's right. Guns, oil, and drugs. That is their god. And and you know that because and I can go into in depth about the oil that we have in our own ground here. Oh yeah, we talk about it all the time. Mm -hmm. I can go into depth about that. I can go into depth about the fraud that's being done against the people. But here's the bottom line, guys: the Republic for the United States re-inhabited, and there's thousands of witnesses. And we're not a bunch of crazies. We're real. We have jobs, and we love our country. We're peaceful, law-abiding Americans. That's the bottom line. We realize the fraud, and we're standing up against the tyranny, but we're doing it in a peaceful format. What's 
happening is we're getting respect around the world. You've got ours. We're getting, we're getting a lot of people that are coming to our table saying, we want to support you. We're getting a lot of money coming from a lot of different directions, promises to pay as soon as we get to X. Just today, in the last 24 hours, we got all 50 states on board, confirmed uh, by an executive, legislative, and judicial branch from each state, ratifying the fact that they want to be a part of the union. All 50 are in, all 50 are done. Okay, so guys, we, to clean up. we have to take another break. This one's a little longer, so I'd like it if you hang on with me, uh, and then we'll come back. We'll be back in about 8 to 10 minutes, and uh, we'll get right back to this. And I appreciate you being with us tonight. I really do. So hang on, and we'll take calls in the next hour. I'm Michael Vera. This is Late Night New Midlands. We cover everything, and we do it for you. We'll be back in just a few moments. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Uh, what we have, we have Willie from Philly. I think no, we have Sean on line one, and uh, we seem to have lost you, Glenn. If you can uh, get back on the line, I would appreciate it. I think you think you're on, but you're not, buddy. Um, so if you could call back in, that would be great. I don't know what happened, but uh, um, line two is uh, ringing dead here. Yeah, line two is. Uh, definitely ringing dead so uh call back in guys and we'll get you back on we've got somebody waiting on the line who wants to uh ask a question or uh give some input i don't know which so uh, we'll see when we get back here and uh while we're waiting for glenn uh to get back on the line um i'll tell you what's coming up on friday dr michael nusatelli will be with us we're going to talk cyber stalking and uh an eye predator yeah cyber stalking and the eye predator and uh he's going to tell us a lot of stuff that you need to know about how the government and how uh just police units and 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 how they're just invading your privacy with this stuff and uh, we're going to have him on for four hours so we're going to get into it uh, pretty deeply on friday and uh, next week, I should let everyone know, we will have Stan Deo coming back to Late Night in the Midlands. Uh, he's going to be with us. Um, it's going to be either two or four hours. We have not decided yet. I guess it depends. What I'd like to do is at least two hours with him and then take your calls uh, for Stan. So we will have Stan Deo coming back. And we're putting a lot of uh, stuff together. We're going to be getting Frank Joseph Hoff back soon for Atlantis. And he may even have uh, Richard C. Hoagland coming on with him. That's not confirmed yet, but uh, he might be coming on with him. And uh, we're going to go through the Atlantis-Mars connection, uh, which ought to be quite interesting so we'll see how that goes so while we're waiting for uh glenn and um um um, um, um kelby thomas smith uh to call back in uh i want to play a uh, a quick clip here and then we'll be back you know you want the truth that's why we created late night in the midlands oh, no problem i guess we're back now and uh uh, Kelly's going to continue on some very important parts uh, of this whole puzzle here. Okay, great. Well, um, one of the things uh, we need to really start learning about is who who we are. Um, people that have IRS issues, people that have mortgage issues, people that have um, just issues in, in any scenario, they need to understand their power and their rights. Um, money is not what you think it is. Uh, people understand that it's a note, but that note is based on the creation, the collateral of, of the corporation. And that collateral is you. And, and uh, just like I was explaining to Glenn during the commercial break, he you know, had a question for me. And I told Glenn, I said, just accept it for value. And he said, what? Said, what does that mean? Well, you literally can accept something for value, return it for value, sign it, and uh, convert it into what's called a money order and offset that debt by simply sending your signature through the processing center at the uh, Treasury or IRS, and it will literally offset the debt and, and zero it out. Um, it doesn't work every, every time, but it does work a large amount of the times if you do your job right. So the point is, is I want people to get used to understanding there's remedies that are out there and, uh, you know, if you have an IRS agent going after you, go after them. 